and good morning again. We're going to start on segment five. This is the lower back, the core from your knees up to your chest, which becomes extremely important in everything that we do. Every focus that we make in life, our, our lower back and our outer core, inner core, our hamstrings, every, all that becomes so effective, everything that we do. And if we work hard at getting a little flexibility and some balance and a little bit of strength and some durability and endurance, it will definitely help prolong, prolong our physical life, which will help everything else just to feel better and to move around and to be able to do things that they say old people can't do. So I'm going to start out with what's called a straight leg deadlift. It's exactly what it says. Losing, using right leg, and I usually do 20 reps, four sets. Today we'll do just 10 to make it quicker. You're going to keep your leg straight, you're going to keep your back flat, and you're just going to bend over. I have a little bit of weight, and just bend over and touch my toes and come back up for 10 reps. Again, it's very important that the tummy is held in tight. Uh, the abdominal press again to keep working the inner core. Take a deep breath. And when I first started doing all this stuff here, I couldn't even come close to my toes. Now I can touch almost with the palm of my hand, which really has helped loosen up my lower back and my hamstrings and my pelvic area. Keep the tummy tight. And the last time I go way down. Okay, then we go from there to dumbbell deadlift, which will squat, loosen up the legs with a weight. Now all we're going to do is squat and pick it up, but it's the same principle and it's just it's loosening us up so that we get loose, but this time we're going to bend our legs and get set for a regular deadlift. Same principle. Deep breath, tight waist, bend at the knees, keep the back flat and the head up. Back is flat, tummy's tight. Getting ready for the real thing. As you notice, as I was doing them, I got looser and looser and looser. And that's what we're doing for our principal purpose is to deadlift, to strengthen everything. Then the next exercise is a, is a balance exercise. It's so a one-legged deadlift, which you use, we're using to help balance and strengthen each leg a little bit. Again, we'll go light. On this, you want to go light all the time. So we're, we're working on our balance and getting it loose. And we're doing it on the Smith machine, simply today, but usually I'll do it from the floor. The deadlift we'll do from the floor, but I'm just demonstrating how it's done. This is one of the most important things is our lower back. My wife started doing the deadlift. It's so important for us to be able to function with the core because it ties in our whole body, our upper body and our lower body. And this is just part of our core training. So right now I'm gonna do a one-legged deadlift, which sometimes we don't balance as good as we do and we kind of bounce around, but I've gotten a little better at it.
see kind of struggle. Then we switch and we do the other arm, same factor. Which takes a lot of balance. This is really good for us. As you can see, even these just these little workouts put a little bit of taxing on you, which is extremely good for our durability and our endurance. Okay, now we're gonna do the deadlift. Again, we do all kinds of different sets, we change it up every time we do it. We go heavy sometimes, medium sometimes, light sometimes, quick sometimes, slow sometimes to build up our, our core and help us with our lower back. I have a stance that's about shoulder width apart, knees close to the weight. I will take an inner grip and an outer grip, which is for safety. In case with it being on the Smith machine, that's not really a problem, but when you're down lower. Other guys like the inside grip with the legs out. I am not flexible enough to really do that, I'll be honest, but we've been working on it. And again, you keep your head up, your back flat, you use your knees, and again, the inner core, you take deep breaths. The abdominal press is really tight, that baby's pulled in nice and tight, so that gets work quite at the same time. Again, we'll just do, to show you, we we'll go, keep the head up. As you can see, my hands are the opposite of one another, my knees are out, my back is flat, my head is up. And you just stand up, do the exact same thing, but make sure the back is flat. As you go down, Smith machine is the best if you want to to start out with because you can get perfect form. And on the deadlifts itself, we do maybe up to 10 reps mostly, but it's anywhere, depending on anywhere, three, five, eight. Sometimes we'll do sets of twos, but only take 10 second rests. You just because you cook. Key there is to be safe, but to get stronger. It's more of a strengthening exercise, which is really good for all of us. Again, that's my number five. And I thank you again from Davey Reed and ASP Nation.